Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday Rewards Day, League One, Team of the Season Edition. Good luck if you're opening your rewards today. I wanna to talk about that, how I expect the market to move, and some Ultimate Team of the Season preparation that I wanna talk about as well, because Ultimate Tots is a big week, right? We, of course, are very curious to see who gets in. If you wanna see my thoughts on that, I'll drop a link down in the description to my prediction video that I put out yesterday. If you have not seen that, I think there could be some moves today. If the market goes up with rewards on some cards, it might be an opportunity to take the cash on those before there is some selling tomorrow on Friday with Ultimate Team of the Season coming very soon. Now, I also want to talk about what content we could see on Thursday because, again, it's been a quiet week. Yesterday was like the most exciting day of the week with the guaranteed TOTS SBCs being released in this game, and that was basically all the content that we had Uh well, with a Team of the Week upgrade pack as well that is there to supply Team of the Week cards for the rest of the, at least the four weeks that it's out um, while we have more SBCs and um, a Silver Stars player. So again, the guaranteed TOTS packs yesterday were expected. They did come. Fodder rose and is now kind of dropping back down into rewards. We'll talk about that. But again, as we've seen on these weeks where there's not a lot of hype, League, uh, sorry, League One, the Premier League, and even Serie A a little bit, you see now that after the guaranteed tots has come, a lot of these blues from League One team this season have gone up, right? Di Maria was 320K, um, Paqueta was 100K flat, Depay was 650. This Henrique card was 43,000 coins earlier today, 43K, and this guy is now 60 thousand coins check this out 46 he was down to 43 and look at the explosion on this card if i were you and i had this i mean i would sell this pre-rewards if any of you guys are watching this i mean kaylor navas was 110k he's now 140 these lower tier cards are going to get supplied a decent amount today so if they're up and you have them and you want to sell them i mean it might be might be a decent time to do that because i think they're going to drop down and low again today especially those lower tier cards now, the middle and the high tier cards like Mbappe, Neymar, Ben Yedder, Di Maria, and Depay, um, you, those are probably going to see a dip today, but some of them might go up. Now, the, the one thing I want to talk about too is, I don't know if you remember last week with this Serie A, some of these cards went up with rewards, some of them people invested in because they thought they were going to go up. Examples would be Kessie and Teo Hernandez as rare and high cards. They were panic sold after a couple hours because they didn't start to rise. Then they hit a low point and they rebounded back. So I'll, that's one thing I want you guys to watch out for today is if you see a period of a huge drop off on a card like Di Maria, Depay, or Ben Yedder, or Bamba, like three or four hours after rewards, and you see that a lot of the cards that you, when you look at them on the market, a very easy way to tell if it is like panic selling and if it's listing is when you're watching the cards that are getting listing, listed up at the 59th, if those cards are fresh and they're second owner, right? If, whether they have games played or whether they don't have games played, if it's a second owner card that is fresh getting listed up at the 59th minute, that is probably going to tell you that somebody is trading this card or somebody bought this card to try to flip it and they're, they're listing it and they're undercutting it because their investment's not working and they're scared it's going to go lower. So uh, that's one thing you can watch out for today. But I think a lot of these blues will kind of get low and then maybe rise back up a little bit because, again, with not a lot of content in this game, people are going to want to try out some of these new cards. And I think it's going to be a perfect scenario where with a market rise today at rewards, we might be able to take the cash on some of these TOTS cards that could be in ultimate team of the season, especially some of the high tier cards. Cristiano Ronaldo, 6.4 mil. He was 6.1 earlier this week. Lukaku is 1.05. He was on Mon Sunday night into Monday morning. He was like uh, a million coins flat. Sancho is 2.5. Goretzka 2-1, Lewandowski 1.7. You know, if there's a card that you think is a shoe-in for ultimate team of the season, like Messi, right? 2.88 for Messi. Messi was 2.6 mil earlier this week. De Jong is 1-1-3. I mean, this De Jong card was 1.04. He's up almost 100,000 coins from where he was. So if you're seeing the market rise today in certain areas, especially some of these TOS cards that are very likely getting in to ultimate team of the season, I think it's going to be a great opportunity to cash some of them out. And again, looking across through some of these leagues, if you have these cards in your team that you think is an item that could get into ultimate tots, I would look to probably sell it today. I really would. Bruno Fernandez, again, he's got double um, potential here with a potential player of the year SBC dropping on Friday. Same thing with Kane. I mean, De Bruyne, Rashford was 2.1. He's now 2.3. So I, I do think that since there's not a ton of content out, 
unless people get it in their minds that they want to sell everything, I would most likely think that a lot of these TOTS cards that we expect to get in to Ultimate Team of the Season are going to go up a little bit today with the market. And then people are going to remember tomorrow morning on Friday when we have more talk about Ultimate Team of the Season uh, that those cards might be back into packs then they're probably going to drop off a little bit. And we'll talk about that panic selling on Friday morning a little bit more tomorrow. But I think that's one of the things you can do right now if you want to try to prepare for Ultimate Tots a little bit. If you have tradable big boy Tots cards in your club, like this Varan, he was 2 million coins earlier this week. He's now 2.2. Um, it feels like people are, are buying up cards and, you know, they're they're building their teams, right? They didn't have a lot of content this week. They've got some coins and they're just like, you know what? I'm just going to buy cards for my team. And that's kind of what it seems is going on right now. But I think we can stay ahead of the game by doing that. I know some of these guys are down from where they were already, but if they're going to get re-released back into packs, like Lewandowski for sure, Messi, Ronaldo for sure, getting re-released back into packs. I know, again, they've dropped a decent amount in this past week, but they're going to drop further. They have to. With more supply coming on the market, uh, getting re-released, that means they're going to drop almost 100% in my opinion. So that's one thing I think you can watch for on the markets. Now, again, a lot of your French links have gone up, right? Check a look at this in Alessandrini, 271,000 coins. If you take a look across the market, um, you can see j not just in the French department, but the League One special card department as well. Atal is 484. He is on the rise. I believe that Sambia is up as well. Um, he dropped a little bit today because people were buying Kloss. Um, but some of your French special cards are probably going to, you know, go up in price today too, as people are linking these cards together in their teams. I think today on Thursday might create a decent sell point. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm banking on ultimate team of the season to have incredible, incredible content, but I do think it should be pretty good. Right. And especially since we've had a low week this week, what did we see right after the premier league when we had a low week of content, it exploded with, uh, La Liga. Now, the only caveat to that is if EA is going to start running a Euros promotion, Summer Heat or whatever, right after Ultimate Tots, they might keep Ultimate Tots kind of low-key as well. That's my only worry um, for this next week. But regardless, a lot of Tots cards are going to be falling in price. Now, again, some of these icons are starting to rise up as well. I bought a Roberto Carlos for 326 k earlier today and he's like 360 370 i honestly think this is people buying up the brazilian links uh to link with their marquinhos a lot of people packed marquinhos today from the guaranteed uh league one sbc which was nice uh by the way this nani card um was price range updated big time today this guy is going to drop it rewards watch out for a bounce on this card as well i know it's in the mls he was down at 650k today on stream when his price range got updated he's bounced back he was 770 just a bit ago so this card has a lot of hype but he's going to get supplied today probably going to go down at rewards and then bounce back up a little bit um, with that supply and also the demand coming afterwards. So I do expect a nice market rise today. That's why I bought a lot of these cards. I bought this Varane for 702,000 coins. He was 780 last weekend. Again, French links, very rare card. And his, obviously the next best version is like whatever, 2.2 million coins. I also uh, got locked in on some Icon goalkeepers um, because Icon goalkeepers right now are very nice for people that are trying to link together all these different people in their squads like if you have Mbabu but now you have Marquinhos how are you going to link those two guys and get some chemistry in your back line uh, I think people are going to use icon goalkeepers again this week they moved a lot last week I think that's a great place to look so look at your rare ones right this moments check is extinct on the market right now man and he was like 600k last weekend moments Yashin I mean there was one at 480 a little bit ago and now his cheapest is 530k so I watch out for those goalkeepers and just your rare cards in general. Even like this Pogba, I was trying to snag one at 250. Uh, if I could buy one for 258 right now, I would do that. But look, a really rare card, GGMU links and uh, French links as well. So with the market rising up today, I think that might be a good shout for t for you guys or for some of you guys to get out with some cards if you want to um, and wait until we see tomorrow with Ultimate Tots what the hype is going to be. Now, speaking of like Ultimate Tots and hype building, I do expect there to be loading screens today or what EA has been doing the past couple weeks is like tweeting out or not tweeting, but like posting on their Instagram story, the hints uh, of whatever cards might be an ultimate tot. So I'm curious to see if we get some sort of loading screen um, for ultimate team of the season and, and today in the game or on their Instagram. So that's one thing to watch out for as well. Now, other things to watch out on the market for today at rewards 
Fodder once again, right? We saw a lot of investing once the pack code dropped. The index 84 was at like 210 points last night, I believe. We were low 200s. The, the code got released and you saw Fodder rising up into the daytime. The index got to 240. When the actual team of the season guaranteed was released, 84s, 82s to 85s spiked for a for like hour period. And then of course, everybody who invested all during this time uh, started selling right now. I was somebody I'm been in the mindset where I'm going to be holding my SBC fodder investment for at least, you know, a week or so, maybe even more. I'm not intending to sell anytime soon. So if you were a quick flipping, you could have bought 84s at 5k and sold them at 7k in this dip in this flip. Um, and now they're coming back down. I think fodder might be a watch during rewards today. My only caveat to that is, again, what we've seen the past couple weeks is Thursdays is when fodder drops down, but then Fridays and Saturdays is when it usually gets to its cheapest if we don't have a lot of content because people aren't going out and doing the SBC. So I know the 84s look really, really low. And if you did sell some of your fodder yesterday and you made some coins off of it, then GG's, maybe you look to get back in. But if there's no content today on Thursday, which I'm, I'm not expecting a huge day today, I mean, following up with what we've had this week, I don't expect a lot of content to be coming out. Why would you just not wait to buy fodder until the weekend when there's gonna be more pack supply and more lightning rounds and stuff like that? So that's my thought, at least for right now. I don't expect a huge day of content today. Um, but if you want to get in on some fodder, just get on some bids during rewards. That could be a good time to do things. Um, again, the SBCs that are out right now, if you haven't finished LR, that's one that I would do. Joe Gomez is still out. Valen, Matweedy, there's not a lot of hype there. Um, and other than that, it's basically just the guaranteed. So maybe people are going to be crafting the guaranteed SBC today. Um, I still have not done the rest of the world uh, SBC just yet. I'll give that a shot after my rewards. And then like icons, right? Are we going to get an icon SBC today? They have dropped icons before on Thursday. So I guess there's potential for that. Um, I got to finish off Yashin with my crafting, um, today as well. So, I mean, there's potential for icon player SBCs. There's potential for all that stuff. I guess one thing we could see is maybe another guaranteed tots from the league one, but since EA dropped this first SBC and it doesn't expire today, it expires uh, tomorrow. I don't think we're going to get another one, right? Last week with Syria, we had the instant, uh, the 24-hour one on Tuesday. Then they, of course, release a next one on Wednesday. This week, only getting one on Wednesday. I don't think we're going to see another one. And that's just kind of the way that it seems to me. So I would not expect another one of these to raise fodder today. If we're going to get anything, it's got to be like a last-ditch um player SBC from League One from EA Sports to provide us with some hype. Marquee matchups should be coming out today as well, but we'll see, right? I don't expect a huge day of content. A lot of the content and what I'm going to be doing on stream, honestly, is watching how low these uh, gold cards go. Watching how low some of these gold cards go that people are using to open upgrade packs. They're starting to drop a little bit right now, as you can see, which is normal. Before rewards, people that have invested in these are now selling them off um, because they are getting ready to get packed a decent amount from weekend league rewards and they're going to get supplied. So rares are going to be cheaper today, which is very nice if you're building upgrade packs, trying to pack Neymar, Mbappe, Ben Yedder, all those big boys. So that's kind of what I'm expecting on that edge of the market. So again, I do expect a rise today, right? I do expect a rise. And I will say one more time, some of these cards that are up right now, pre-rewards that are in the lower tier, like Paqueta, uh, Enrique, Kaylor Navas, like they're dropping a little bit right now, but if you're watching this and Navas is still 140,000 coins from like a lot of the elites and the ultimate packs today, this guy's going to get supplied. So all I would say is the lower tier part of the team of the season, League One, that's in packs, I think they're going to get supplied today. Now Mbappe and Neymar, it's going to be very interesting because I think people are going to forget that they're going to be re-released back in packs. Some of the pros are going to say they're going to go sell all the rewards they get all the coins they make from the elite packs, go and try to buy Neymar and Mbappe or maybe Ben Yedder, maybe Di Maria, Depay, or Bamba. Those guys might go up for a little bit, but that again, it could be just another opportunity to sell some cards before the content drop tomorrow and before people start thinking about ultimate team of the season uh, and what that means for this market. So that would be my, I guess, uh, word of advice again, would be just to get out. If you see the market get up today, it could be an opportunity to and then tomorrow on Friday, we should see some selling, right? We should see some sell-off as people uh, get ready for ultimate team of the season. But again, I think the stuff that's going to go up the most today is going to be the rare cards, right? The rare stuff like this Mendy with the French links. Uh, I like that card today for sure. Even these Varan specials, right? This was 270 earlier in the day. What is he right now? 
Yeah, he's still right around 280, 270. Um, so that's kind of what I'm watching for. Also, Brazilian links. Don't sleep on those, man. Like, I bought a Roberto Carlos baby at 320. He's kind of up and away. But if you can find a Roberto Carlos mid at like 440, 430, that might not be a bad shout. And again, I mentioned the icons. I kind of watched this Garincha, but he is up as well. Very rare item. So, you know, I do think the market will rise a decent amount today. But again, the focus is going to be rewards today. A lot of people getting their red picks. And if the red picks work kind of like they did last week, it seemed like a lot of people in red picks were getting similar cards to what EA kind of dropped in the... Um, in the guaranteed packs. And I saw Marquinhos drop so many times today from guaranteed. So I'm wondering if people are gonna pack Marquinhos from Reds as well. Um, and then, you know, people that did Kempembe and Marquinhos, they're gonna go out and wanna buy this cheeky Kaylor Navas as a card to link them both. But I mean, this guy's up so much, I think he drops off and then maybe goes up later today. So there's just a lot of hype with the League One. So there's obviously a lot of links that are gonna go into people's teams this week and cards that are gonna go into it. So honestly, um, with the market going up, I think it's going to be a great time to get out. So that's kind of my thoughts on preparation for ultimate team of the season. If you guys are wondering about that, I think that's one of the smartest things you can do today with the market going up, maybe cashing out, getting your coins ready for some panic tomorrow, finishing up your icon swaps as well. If you're going to be opening packs for ultimate team of the season, uh, I've got three swap tokens. I'd like to get uh, two, two more. I think I'm decently close to getting two more uh, with the Bundesliga. Um, okay. I'm not that close, but you know, I got a couple squad battles games that I could grind through as well if I really wanted to to get my swaps packs for Ultimate Tots tomorrow, which hopefully brings us a lot of Team of the Seasons um, released in this game and not just a set of 15, like a full squad of 20 or 22. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. But we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow, of course, and check out that Team of the Season Ultimate Prediction video. I'll link that down in the description that I did yesterday. So good luck with your awards today. Good luck with your reds. If you got elite plus, good luck with those packs and good luck with your flips as well. It's going to be a good day of making coins, packing blues and having a lot of fun. So if you did enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. I will catch you guys later. Peace.